Hey everyone, today we're cooking grilled fish packets on a Cooking Everything Outdoors show. So what's this all about? Well, we're taking foil packets, which I've shown you how to use, and we're gonna take some really savory, wholesome ingredients. Hmm, awful big words for some good stuff. And we're gonna pack it in a packet. We're gonna pour it a little bit of beer in there as a moisturizer, and then we're gonna cook it over direct heat for just a little bit, and then we're gonna offset it into indirect heat. Now you can use either a gas grill or a charcoal grill. I'm using a charcoal grill this time, don't waste any money on lump charcoal or anything like that. Just use some basic briquettes. That's all you're going to need for this recipe. You'll need some fish fillets. Now, what I'm using is cod. I'm using three. This recipe is actually enough for four packets, but I have three really nice cod fillets. We'll be using three to four fresh tarragon sprigs. These are Sierra Gold potatoes. We're going to be slicing those up. I have four big cloves of minced garlic, one minced shallot, one onion, fairly thinly sliced, a whole stick of butter um, in two tablespoon chunks. And I'm also using some Kona Brewing Company, their Big Wave Golden Ale. Uh, just about any ale would work just fine in this recipe. And you'll need some aluminum foil and salt and pepper. So to get started, we'll need to cut up our potatoes. Now, you can approach this two different ways. You can slice it this way or lengthwise. I'm gonna slice them lengthwise. First thing I wanna do is just cut a little bit off the bottom, and that's gonna stabilize the potato as I'm cutting it. So there's a tip to take with you so you don't lose any fingertips. And we're just gonna make some real nice slices. You can see how beautiful these potatoes are. So you're gonna need three to four sheets of aluminum foil. Uh, this is the Reynolds uh, foil for the grill. It's really good stuff, I like it. They sent me this box to try out. I've been very, very happy with it. Uh, this is about 18 inches by, give or take, 12 to 15 inches. Um, one packet for each fish that you're gonna do. We're doing three, so I have three sheets of aluminum foil. Okay, so now this aluminum foil has two sides. It has a non-stick side and a regular shiny side, which you're uh, used to seeing. If you want, optionally, you could take some spray and spray your sheet. And then what you want to do is you want to lay some potato slices out. And this is gonna be our base for our fish. Then take a onion slice or two. Lay that down. Then you want to take one of your fillets, lay that on top of that. Take a chunk of your butter on top of that. Then sprinkle it with some of your shallot, shallot, garlic, salt and pepper to taste, whatever that means. and then place one sprig of fresh tarragon over the top of that. Now, we need to fold this up in such a way that we can then add our beer to this. So, what I'm going to do is take and fold my packet this way, tightly as possible, then fold this end up, And then one fourth of the beer goes in the packet. What does one fourth look like? It looks like about that. And then go back and seal this as tightly as possible. So now our packets are made and our grill is set up for indirect heat. That's two zone cooking. So I have a non-heat zone and then I have a hot, hot zone. I'm gonna put the packets over the coals to start with, and then you need to listen, and when they start to sizzle and boil, that's when we want to remove the packets and put them over on the indirect side. 
packets directly over the coals. All right, you can hear our packet sizzling now. When you get to that point, you just want to slide them over in direct heat. We're going to cook these for approximately 20 minutes until everything's tender and opaque inside. About halfway through that, I'm going to rotate the packet around. Uh, but at this point, I'm going to put the lid on and set the timer for 10 minutes. Let it cook, and then I'll give it a spin. Okay, so these have been cooking about 10 minutes. And what I want to do is just rotate the packets. And the reason I'm doing that is simply that there is more heat on this head end than the tail end. And I want these to cook evenly. So we'll just give them, a, oh, I can already smell this, it's incredible. So we're just going to give them a quick flip and then cook them for about 10 minutes more. And then we'll take a peek on one of them and see if they're ready yet. All right, so we've been cooking for a total of 20 minutes. And we really need to take a look in one of these packets and get an idea of where we're at. Because with foil packet cooking, it's somewhat of a guessing game. And you do have to peek. Now, it's going to be really hot. And hopefully, I won't get uh, third degree burns doing this. But we'll try to unroll one of these very carefully. And take a look and see if we can see. And oh, yeah, that looks, that to me is looking pretty darn Oh, flavorful, that's for sure. This fish looks opaque. Let me get a fork in there real quick and take a check. Let's see how we're doing here. And uh, maybe we got a little bit more to go. I'm going to cook this for about 10 more minutes. Well, I took another peek, and after 30 minutes, these are ready to go. So let's plate one of these up and see how we did. Okay, let's open this packet up here. Oh my, that, the, the tarragon is just, comes through so nicely in this. It's a somewhat sweet aromatic flavor. Aroma, I should say. But that, it's hot aluminum foil, but look at there. And there you have it. That's grilled fish packets. Just absolutely phenomenal, easy to do, and really quick on the grill. I hope you enjoyed this, but before I go, I need to take a second to give a shout out to my sponsors. Outdoorcooking.com, campchef.com, and islandgrillstone.com. Because as you know, and I always tell you, this show would not be possible without their sponsorship. So go take a visit to them. Go say hi. Tell them Gary sent you and buy something. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.